Hey everybody, welcome back. So we are hopping into the seventh episode of season three of Dark. It's called Between the Time, and we are just one episode away from the finale, the completion of the series, the end of a great journey. I just never imagined this the show would have taken the amount of twists and turns and how, how layered it was, how it was just... I know I'm probably jumping the gun here. It's it's been an incredible ride so far. Really interested to see how the finale is set up with this episode. I'm sure these last two episodes are going to be hard hitting, emotionally like just just impactful. Um, a little nervous, a little excited, a little bit of both. But I'm very very eager to see how this whole story wraps up. It's been one hell of a journey. I want to thank you all for for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for commenting, just everything you've done to help me grow, because this has been a blast to do, it's been very fun. Um, can't wait to continue the reaction series with Ozark next, so if you're new, hello, Ozark will be coming. Um, I do plan on doing Hellraiser 2 for the month of Halloween, so if you have any other October movie suggestions or something, just drop them in the comments down below. And um, I think that about covers the housekeeping part of the announcements. Now it kind of goes on to Dark. So in the last episode, Adam basically won. So he unleashed the apocalypse, or he unleashed... Um, he made sure the apocalypse in both worlds were triggered because he needs the power from both of those worlds to destroy the origin. Um, the origin being the product of both worlds, Jonas, Martha, their child is the origin. So, Adam basically, it feels like Adam won in the end. Don't know exactly know what that means. Don't exactly know what happens now. I mean, I'm sure it's probably painfully obvious and it's probably just blankly staring me in the face, but I don't want to read the description to the episode. Um... I mean, there's, there's a bunch of plot lines, I'm sure. There's a bunch of plot lines that I want to see resolved, but I'm just saying from a big picture point of view, Worlds ended in the last episode, so I don't know. But yeah, I'm very eager to see how it, how it continues and wraps up, so I think we're going to end the rant there, the rant and ramble, so I think we're just about to hop in. But before we do, if you've been enjoying the ride with me so far, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we're about to hop in in just a moment. Thank you all once again, and let's enjoy this episode. All right, here we go. Was ist Realität? Gibt es davon nur eine einzige? Oder existieren mehrere Realitäten nebeneinander? Oh boy, I kind of figured this was coming. Erwin Schrödinger hat für diese Frage ein überaus interessantes Gedankenexperiment konstruiert. Schrödingers Katze. Sie befindet sich in zwei sich überlagernden Zuständen. Die Eigenschaften tot und lebendig existieren im Mikrokosmos also gleichzeitig. Aber was? wenn das gleichzeitige Vorhandensein von Leben und Tod auch für die Welt des Makrokosmos gelten würde. Wäre die Existenz mehrerer Realitäten nebeneinander möglich, könnte es uns gelingen, die Zeit zu spalten und sie in zwei unterschiedliche, gegensätzliche Richtungen laufen zu lassen und damit die Katze in einen gleichzeitigen Zustand von Tod und lebendig zu bringen? Und wenn ja... Wie viele unterschiedliche Realitäten wären dann nebeneinander möglich? Whoa. How does the show just continue keeping itself like fresh and exciting? This is so, so cool. Sie haben dich belogen. Er will dir nicht helfen. Er wird dich töten. Ich weiß, was der Ursprung wirklich ist. Und wie alles zusammenhängt. Bitte. Ich kann es dir zeigen. Du musst dir vertrauen. It's a pretty big moment for her. Because usually she would always choose Jonas over Bartosh. Oh, is Jonas gonna see this? Ooh. 
Okay. Dem Menschen fällt es schwer, den Tod zu akzeptieren. Er hält fest an Dingen, die längst vergangen sind. Marek, Sonja, Charlotte. Das Paradies. Schmerz und Leid. Jeder Schmerz, den wir empfunden haben, ausgelöscht. Und you basically already sold it to her, so. Leben. Adam wird sein Versprechen halten. Die Passage wird sich öffnen. Was willst du? Seit Ewigkeiten versprichst du uns, dass es einen Weg hier raus gibt. Dass wir die Apokalypse verhindern können. Es wird funktionieren. Ich habe gesehen, dass es funktioniert. In der Zukunft. Und dann? Hm? Wann erzählst du uns endlich die Wahrheit? Du willst doch gar nicht mehr zurück. Du willst die Apokalypse überhaupt nicht verhindern. I've been waiting for the fight. Could this be the Wenn das Portal funktioniert, dann können wir es benutzen, um den Ursprung zu finden. Und wenn wir ihn gefunden haben, dann werden wir ihn vernichten. Und alles, was daraus entsteht, das ist das Paradies. Das Paradies. Bring out, he's gonna bring out Martha. Two years. Oh, zwei verschissene Jahre. Ich will dein verficktes Paradies nicht. Ich will hier einfach nur weg. Understandable. In the last reaction. Adam mentioned, when he was mentioning pairings, he said there's Celia and Agnes. Is, is her name Celia? Ich bin Celia. There we go. All right, confirmed. Bartosz. Right on, Bartosz. At least there's somewhat of a happy ending for you. Ich weiß, wir versuchen es schon lange. Aber es wird gelingen. Jonas, du darfst die Hoffnung nicht verlieren. Is that where Martha lay dying? I'm assuming. And this is where Michael, or Michael, hung himself at the very start of the series. Uh. Is he just gonna end it all right now? I can't tell what he's thinking. If he looks up, then yep. Fuck. How did I know this was going this direction? That sucks. It feels like there's no other way out. It's horrible. But someone has to stop him. Because how is this going to work? He really did it. Ugh. Someone had to have saved him. Adam hat mir was versprochen. Du hast gesagt, dass die Apokalypse passieren muss, damit wir gerettet werden. Alle gerettet werden. Du kannst nicht sterben. Is that fate intervening? There's actually bullets in there, but it keeps jamming or something. Yeah. So Lee literally can't die. Weil es ein älteres Ich bereits gibt. So would he have just been stuck there hanging until someone cut him down? Egal was du versuchst. That sucks. Etwas. Oder jemand. Wird dich immer davon abhalten. Wir haben die Passage gefunden. Du musst dein Versprechen halten. Oh wow, yeah, okay. So they're already giving birth. Einmal noch. Das ist ein Bursche. Is it gonna be Hanno Tauber? No, no, that can't be right. Wie soll er heißen? Come on. Okay, so it is. Okay. So where does the the last name come into play? My god, taking notes on this episode is going to be crazy. Warum glaubst du, funktioniert das immer noch nicht? Vielleicht will Claudia gar nicht, dass es funktioniert. 
Maybe. Das Portal wird funktionieren. Ich hab's gesehen. In der Zukunft. Alles wiederholt sich. Aber wenn ich zurückreisen kann, dann kann ich alles verändern. Mein älteres Ich hat es schon mal versucht. Aber dieses Mal ist alles anders. Ich habe die Komponenten in der Passage verändert. Dieses Mal wird es funktionieren. Woher weiß sie all die Dinge, die sie weiß? Sie hat gesagt, nicht alles, was hier ist, gehört hierhin. Was hat sie damit gemeint? Die Materie. Sie darf noch nicht funktionieren. Du hältst den Knoten in deiner Welt aufrecht und ich in meiner. So she is stopping it from working. So I kind of figured. Hmm. Oh, wow. Will this work? Es muss einen Weg geben, den Knoten zu lösen. Ohne alles Leben darin zu zerstören. Ein well, she looks genuinely shocked and surprised. Ich glaube, weder Eva noch Adam kennen diesen Weg. Aber ich werde ihn finden. In meiner oder deiner Welt. So what did that change? This had to yeah. Nah, she knows. Nah, no way. She doesn't believe this, not at all. This had to have been part of the plan. I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like uh, Ava went all this time without a backup plan. What happened? Oh, she gave birth and she didn't make it. She wanted that she Agnes heißt. Agnes? Oh, is this the story that a uh, scientist man says he saw two peculiar women holding a baby or something? Is that what this is implying? I guess we'll find out. I'm just talking out loud. Fucking hell. Well, that comes true. That's when he met Charlotte. He's like, you're right here the whole time. I was looking for you. Yep. So it's all coming together. Oh my Jesus. She gave birth. And who is this then? Really? What's the reaction to be to clay face Jonas? Das ist meine Tochter. Celia. Sie ist deine Schwester. Wie hast du uns gefunden? Vor ein paar Tagen. Da war diese alte Frau. Sie stand einfach vor unserer Tür. Eva. Du hast recht. alles meine Schuld. Ich habe alles kaputt gemacht. What is she gonna ruin now? Imagine if she just kills him. Was machst du noch? Celia. Sie gehört nicht hierher. Alle Spielsteine müssen auf ihre Position. Sie ist hier falsch. Genau wie du. Mm. At first I was thinking how oh, he's gonna send him back, but then I was like, why was he why would he be sneaking into their room? Damn. Damn damn. She's really just gonna sleep through it? Wow. I'm not gonna lie, did not expect him to die this way. Wait, how is he even killing her? His hand over her mouth? Oh yeah. Make it seem like she just died in her sleep. That sucks. Ich will dir Geheimnis zeigen. Ich 
habe ich vorhin deine Mama schlafen lassen. Ich... Ich bin weit gereist. Ich brauche einen Platz zum Schlafen. Hallo? gonna do like a thing where Hanno and Noah are like an anagram or something and it just got scrambled through time or something like that here we go again mm, yeah I'm sure Okay, I was like, no, that's not the end. Warum hast du mich hergebracht? Wir sind die einzigen, die uns retten werden. Sie sind das Licht. Was willst du von mir? Ist es nicht eigenartig, dass wir die größte Abneigung den Menschen entgegenbringen, die uns am ähnlichsten sind. Ich war mein Leben lang der Überzeugung, dieser Moment hier könnte sich niemals so wiederholen. Ich könnte nie das tun, was mein älteres Ich getan hat, weil ich nicht verstehen konnte, wie ich das, was sie wollte, jemals wollen könnte. Eine Erinnerung, damit du niemals vergisst, auf welche Seite du wirklich gehörst. Du verstehst es jetzt vielleicht noch nicht. Aber mit uns entscheidest du dich für das Leben. Mit Adam für den Tod. So what's gonna happen this time? Someone stops? Or... Nope, still dead. Das kann nicht sein. Didn't work? Okay, so what happens now? Plot twist again. Hallo Jonas. Okay. So that was season three, episode seven of Dark called Between the Time or In Time, whatever it was called. Must be a translation error, but really good episode, but not gonna lie. All the jumping back and forth through time kinda left my circuits kind of fried, but definitely gonna be an episode I'm gonna pay a little more attention to when I go through the edit. Because I really tried to myself on track but then I kept jumping forward backward all over the place and at that point I was just like okay I'm just gonna watch and see what happens and hopefully by the end of it it'll make sense so this recap might be a little stranger than usual just because going through this right like right as I'm doing right now might be a little difficult just because I'm not exactly sure of the dates um but I can do the best I can for sure. So I like this, this little diagram, even though I'm not, you know, behind, not 100% behind using cats for experiments, but the diagram was, in the, the, the example was neat. And it kind of like, it transitions to um, the story itself and her, um, it can go to two separate paths and we kind of see the other path in this episode. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is going to be kind of crazy because I'm going to need my notes because there's, there's a lot that happened in this episode. A lot that was, that's, that's setting things up for the finale as well as, um, filling in the gaps like the last episode did. I like this because I, I remembered in, in um, there was one episode, I forget which one it was, where I saw the family tree, and I, and I looked at, saw Bartage's name, and then there was a Celia, so I assume, so that's her, finally met her, and then we kind of jump forward in time and give birth to someone named Hano, and then we learn from Doris that Hano is the minister that went missing, right, because of the whole Agnes thing, and, oh my Going back through this show is going to be really, really fun to catch all the details. But 
moving forward, Claudia is intentionally um, telling Jonas to have faith. Like she's making sure that it doesn't work because it's not that time to get it to work. And let's see. What else? this was interesting because this Claudia didn't expect that to happen, and. I'm actually kind of shocked. I will be shocked if Eva didn't know that she was being played here. She has to know, right? Because she's acting way too mm, skittish. I don't know, timid, like nervous. It just felt like anybody could easily figure out like she wasn't the Claudia on Eva's side. It was the other Claudia, but you know, Eva. Wanted, I'm, I'm sure she knew. Let me fast forward again. Celia has another child. Yeah, all these details I'm about to go over like when I do the edit and take a bunch of notes because I feel like once I go through this again, I'll have a stronger baseline going into the finale because I don't want to go into the finale like with too many questions, like questions that should have been answered so far. Yeah, here we go here. Celia, Hannah, they go to see Jonas. Jonas is just now transitioning into Rockman or Clayface, whatever you want to call him. And they're on the they're in the wrong time. And what happens when you're in the wrong time? Jonas has to set things right, put the pieces back to where they belong. Unfortunately that means here. Anna's dead. Didn't expect it would be at Jonas's hands or Adam's hands, but and then he takes Celia. Fast forwarding along. Yeah, like we're just going. Like I, I love this whole sequence when they recap like the entire series so far. I really love that. And I run like the circles now. This is closing up. Yeah, this is basically just telling us that no matter what's happening, we're going to get to the end at get to that end at some point in time. And then we find out that at the end, it didn't work. Adam's whole plan. It didn't work. So at the end of episode six, when I assumed it went off without a hitch that Adam won, but he didn't. Not only that, the twist at the end is Claudia shows up. Don't know what she has planned for the final episode. Don't exactly know how it's going to end at this point. All my guesses are up in the air. I mean, I thought we were pretty much done with six. I thought Adam won and we we're just going to be like kind of like a recovery type of Maybe like a Mission Impossible style uh, style plot where we need to go back and I don't know, just fix it. Mm. But yeah, so that's my reaction for this episode of Dark. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned because we're going to be doing the finale fairly soon. And our next show will be Ozark. So I'm now eager to jump into the edit and take all the notes and try to get myself caught up before I start the last episode. So, yep, that will do it for now. And uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, have a good one. See ya.